Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to install and configure ADFS web application proxy for Windows Server 2022 ADFS server. In the previous video, we set up the internal ADFS server on Windows Server 2022. to make the federation services accessible on the internet now we need to install an adfs reverse proxy server in our parameter network to complete this setup in adfs the role of a federation server proxy is handled by a remote access role service called web application proxy to enable our adfs for accessibility from outside the corporate network We can deploy one or more web application proxies for ADFS in Windows Server 2022. Web application proxy functions as an ADFS federation server proxy. In general, web application proxy provides reverse proxy functionality for web applications in the corporate network, which allows users on most devices to access internal web applications from the external networks. We are picking up where we left off in the previous video. We have single domain Active Directory forest name msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01, which has the CA role installed. This is the ADFS server that we configured in the previous video. Let's go to our third Windows Server 2022 VM. This is our workgroup server where we will install the web application proxy service to set up the ADFS reverse proxy. You must have server running Windows Server 2022 Essentials standard or data center. The user account used for the procedure must have local administrator permission on the web servers. You must have access to an account that have local administrator permissions on the ADFS server. and last a public or internally signed certificate with server authentication purpose the certificate subject must match the address in the published services and the certificate must be trusted on each client all right let's begin with the steps go back to adfs server on server manager click on tools and select adfs management now expand services and click on certificates let me maximize the console the first certificate that is getting listed here as service communication is actually the ssl certificate that we have used initially to set up adfs we are going to copy the adfs certificate from this adfs server to our web application proxy server and then we will import it right click on certificate and select view certificate go to details tab To export the certificate, click on Copy to File. Click Next. We need the private key of the SSL certificate in order to establish the trust between ADFS proxy and ADFS server. So I am selecting this option, which says Yes, export the private key, and click Next. Again, click Next. Enter a strong password to protect this certificate with private key. After entering password, click Next. specify the name and location where you want to store this certificate file i'll save it on desktop with name ssl cert click on save click next and click on finish we should get the confirmation message that export was successful click okay again click okay go to desktop and copy the certificate file We need to paste this certificate file on web application proxy server. Let's go to our group server. Let's paste the certificate file on desktop. Open run menu, type mmc and hit enter key. Click on file and select add remove snap in. Select certificates and click add. Choose computer account and click next. Click finish. and click okay expand certificates and click on personal at the moment we don't have any certificate under personal store 
right click on personal all task select import click next click on browse and go to desktop choose all files select the certificate and click on open click next and the password and click next click next and click on finish we should receive a confirmation message indicating that the import was successful click okay click on certificates here we can see we have two certificates one of the certificate is cs certificate let's copy cs certificate expand trusted root certification authority and click on certificates paste the certificate here let's again click on certificates let's double click on adfs certificate we can see the certificate is trusted and we have a private key that corresponds to this certificate click okay let's minimize the mmc window in the next step let's install the web application proxy service on this server open server manager click on manage and select add rules and features in the add rules and features wizard click next three times to get to the server role selection screen select remote access and then click next click next twice on the select role services page select web application proxy on the pop up click on add features to add features required by web application proxy service make sure web application proxy is selected click next on the confirm installation selection page click install the installation process has been started the installation will take a few seconds to complete click on open the web application proxy wizard link this will start web application proxy configuration wizard on the welcome page click next in the federation service name box enter the fully qualified domain name of the adfs server for example adfs.msftwebcast.com if you don't know the federation service name you can get it from your adfs server go back to adfs server open adfs management console click on service right click on it and select added federation service properties copy federation service point fqdn go back to web application proxy server on the federation service name paste the fqdn in the username and password boxes enter the credentials of a local administrator account on the adfs server type srt22-adfs01/administrator as username enter user's password and click next click on drop down menu to see the list of certificates currently installed on the web application proxy server select a certificate to be used by web application proxy for adfs proxy functionality click next to configure web application proxy click on configure wait until the web application proxy has completed the configuration this may take from a few seconds to a few minutes The web application proxy has successfully connected to the ADFS service, verified the specified certificate and account. This completes the configuration. Now we need to click on close. After closing the web application proxy configuration wizard, the remote access management console will automatically open. From now on, the ADFS proxy server will work and publish the authentication services to internet-based clients. clicking on operation status will show us that it is working properly and everything is fine we can see adfs proxy and web application proxy core with working status this means everything is working as configured from a machine that is connected to the internet but not part of your corporate network verify that you can reach your adfs server Let's go to my physical machine and open web browser. Type this URL and hit enter key to access IDP initiated sign on page on ADFS server. Click on sign in. We have to type the username and password to test the authentication. 
type user1 at msftwebcast.com as username then enter user's password and click on sign in we should see a message showing that we are signed in let's click on sign out after successful login we can now confirm that our adfs web application proxy is working correctly this concludes the installation and configuration for the web application proxy for adfs on windows server 2022 i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day